Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Poznanski's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is a, technically a classic, for me at least. Um, this was one of the original brews that brought me into uh, craft beer. You know, Saranac was the first, then after Saranac I found the little heavier ones like Sierra Nevada and uh, this one, which is Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. Fresh Chester Pale Ale, craft brewed in New York, brewed and bottled by Captain Lawrence Brewing Company out of Elmsford, New York, bottled on 12-01-2015, <laughs> and since my computer's been acting up lately, I'm going to read all the information I have. I printed it all out. Because I did this beer review about five minutes ago and the fucking computer crapped out of me. So, uh, oh, it even gives the address in case anyone wants to go. I, I don't know if I could re legally read it online, but it's on their website. So, this beer is 35, uh, 5.5% 5 .5 alcohol by volume. The IBUs on this one is 35. Food pairings, it says foods with a spicy kick are a great match as the bitterness of the hops will help to cool the palate before your next bite. Mexican food and pizza are natural at best. The malts are natural matches. The malts are domestic two row and English crystal malt. The hops are Columbus hops, Cascade and Palisade hops. On Beer Advocate, it gets a store score of 88, which is very good. Um, style is an American Pale Ale. Rate Beer gives it a style uh, score of 89 overall and a 91 in the style. Commercial description on this one is one of the first beers I brewed after... I don't know who I is, but one of the first beers I brewed after moving out of out to California to begin my brewing education. I'm guessing it's Captain Lawrence. To begin my brewing education was a pale ale. This version is a true testament to the influences the Wild West had on my early brewing. My pale ale is loaded with U.S. grown Cascade Crystal and Columbus hops. Th that's funny. Uh, okay, so on Rate Beer, the, um, the commercial description says loaded with U.S. grown Cascade Crystal and Columbus hops. But on their website, the commercial description says it says the exact same thing. It said, my pale ale is loaded with U.S. grown Cascade Palisade and Columbus. So I'll just go on their website from the ones on their website, Columbus Hops. So be sure to get a good sniff to enjoy their robust aromas before taking your first sip. Sensory profile, an aromatic beer with notes of citrus. But yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll decipher all that stuff myself. Don't think there's anything else left to talk about. There was some smoke, but this was the one where I went like that and it was still on a little bit, but all the stuff came out and then I didn't do it like that and then there was no more smoke. So, got the Bud Light glass, even though I'm not big on Bud Light, but you know, who cares? The worst part is it's a Jets class. Nice color. Uh, it's a little chill hazed. Uh, I can't see the bubbles coming up. Can't see the light through the glass. It's a very orange color. Not to the not to the amber, more of the just light orange. With about a half a finger, a uh, finger of a nice white soapy head. Seems like it's sticking around. Um, you get a little of the malt, some, uh, you could probably pick up some of that two roll. Not much crystal. Columbus hops. Some floral notes. Some. 
some grassiness. Pininess. And maybe some citrusy notes too as well. Starts off very, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, starts off with a mixture of the malt and the hops together. Eases more into the next hop presence. And then slowly goes into the bittering hops that you get in your back. Uh, the back end of your mouth. Pininess, maybe a little grapefruit. Not very grassy, a little watery, but not too bad on the wateriness. It is rather, it's medium to light almost, medium to light bodied, not medium to heavy. Very good beer. Almost sessionable, being 5.5, .5. and it's, how many calories is it? Eh, it's 168 for 12 ounces. But nice lacing it's leaving on the glass, I like that. I wouldn't say it's unfiltered, it's it's filtered. Fairly clear. Very nice pleasurable taste. Good on the palate. If you like um if you like spicier food, you'll probably like this beer. Just that bitterness goes would go really well with some hot sauce. Maybe this will go well with sushi, but then again, I think sushi would go good with anyone because I love sushi. Um, hmm. It's very good. I remember, I haven't had this beer in a long time. I remember it being good. It's not as, uh, oops, my bad. It's not as full as like a Sierra Nevada is. It's about more in the lines of Saranac, in my opinion. They're a little lighter. This is a little bit more or less watery than the most of the Saranac beers. But um, I enjoy their beers anyway. So, but it, it does hold a special place in my heart, you know. Not like Saranac. Saranac is the top for me. But, um, I give it a nine. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Excuse me, no. I'll give it an eight. I like, um, it's just not a nine for me. I don't know why I said nine. It's an eight. Which is still good. That's still good. But it's just not a nine. Even got some floral notes in the mouthfeel. Just a little bit. But anyway, that's it for this review, guys. As always, if you like the review, please write, comment, subscribe, and request. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And as always, we'll see you next time on Postpanski's Beer Review.